Welcome to the Listen Up podcast here on the Independent Ghana TV. My name is Jessie La Morris, and today our discussion is centered around the video of a man who was seen assaulting a little boy. I think two years per report, that is what has been said. What are some of the causes of this? How does this affect the child? And other matters. We're going to have a newsroom discussion. But before we delve into the conversation, let's take this break. When we come back, it's going to be fireworks. Stay with us. Welcome back from that quick break. As I said before the break, our conversation today is centered around the video of a man seen beating the two-year-old boy. And for me, it just triggers, as soon as I saw the video, the word um, child abuse was triggered. I don't know if my friends here share the same views as I do. But then, we are having a conversation on it. Amanda, how did you feel about the, the video? It, it, it was actually um, not an interesting scene to watch, I mean, but I'm actually surprised that some people are arguing that some of these, you know, assaults on kids is common in our society. I don't think so because, I mean, everybody, almost 90% of people who see the video are talking about it and they are not happy. So it is not something that people, we do in our community. It is very, very unacceptable. I'd like to hear from my colleagues if they, sh they, they share the same view. All right, Andy. For me, I think that some of these things keep happening because um, of how our society is. Um, growing up, the, this quote, train up a child the way he should go, blah, 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 and you never depart from it. Do you think some of these things have accounted for um, the rate of abuse with regards to um, raising kids? Okay, so first, I, I share a different opinion. The WHO World Health Organization says 300 million children aged two to four years regularly suffer physical punishment and or psychological violence at the hands of parents and caregivers. We are in Africa. This is Ghana as an example. Uh, I'm 24 years old. I've seen, I've heard how children get abused based on the uh, notion that spare the red and spoil the child. It's, it's, it has become part of our culture and it's really disheartening. Probably, I think this is... Um, has raised more alarm because of the age of the child. But imagine it was a 10-year-old, 15-year-old. Would the conversation be the same? Is it, yes, the, the age plays a role, but it's still child maltreatment. This is the country where when even women uh, are abused in their houses, that's by their husbands, it's, it's not really given so much uh, attention. And far worse when it's the woman who is maltreating the man. We are in the society where they beat children but i don't know if it has changed two years ago five years ago you were beating children in schools canes you, for you being so late or not even so late you being late to school you're not trimming your hair you, you're not paying school fees you're being caned so for me this is it's wrong it is wrong but it's not something new which means that we have to address it something has been wrong for all this while why have we kept quiet because this is not the first time we are, we are hearing child maltreatment or child abuse okay um Stella was to say something. Um, I disagree with Andy by saying the age uh, gap okay. is, is matters. Because in as much as the, ch the child in that video is young, if I should see a man or a woman beat a child, even let's say 12 years in that state, I would still be alarmed. Mm. Because the man was treating the baby as if that child was a 30-year-old boy or a girl. And it is wrong. Ch the, the child was treated like a this, thing. This, this, this um, discipline mm -hmm. is totally wrong and it's not acceptable in any form or shape. It doesn't matter whether the child is one or 16 or 20. It doesn't matter. The method the man used to discipline that baby, I, we don't know what that child did, but it is wrong on all levels. Hmm. 
we see this kind of abusement in schools at home and we, we, we don't see it, I think because we don't get to have a view of what actually happens, mm -hmm. like we take it as normal. Yeah. It's our parents or whoever, our guardians would fight for us. Because this video is out there, that is why it has triggered all this conversation, but it is not new in our system. Mm. So the person who videoed the, the, the thing should also be punished, should also be arrested. The doer and then the person who captured the whole scene. Because mm -hmm. this is, it's pathetic. That is all I can see. Stella says it's pathetic. And I think I share the same view um, with you on the arresting the person who did the video. Because he was supposed to do something instead of, I mean, just standing there exactly. watching it. Elsie. Those things go on in our schools. We see kids being caned all in the name of discipline. Do you think it is right for, I mean, schools to adopt this kind of method of whipping and then as a form of punishment? Okay, well, um, I think a um, few months ago, a few years ago, they brought a letter that they've stopped caning um, most students when they come to school late for school fees and all those stuff. But most teachers still do it. Mm -hmm. There should be a punishment, a fine, a sport fine that if you do this, you can be jailed. It is a total abuse. So the government or the um, GES should work thoroughly towards it so that all these things, there are so many ways, ways you can train a child. You shouldn't use a cane, you shouldn't... See, we, we need to educate our teachers, even everybody, even the youth, we, we need total education on all these kind of punishments and see it, it was it was this heartening when I saw the video. We really need training. Yeah, let me just you know, um, last year there was a video of this SHS girl who had bruises mm -hmm. um, on her bottles. Yeah, yeah, I remember that video. Okay. That that child was caned by a, a teacher. It was it, it was highlighted. Mm -hmm. The media spoke about it. Where is that girl and where is the teacher? What happened to that teacher? They are free. So this is not new. I mean, like, we say it and at the end of the day, it, it just, it, it just, we just sweep it under the carpet and life goes on. And it, it keeps happening. The only reason we get to talk about it is because it's in the social media and everybody is talking about it. So this form of abuse must stop and how we should rather, the conversation should be rather on how can we help stop this canker? All right, um, so they've said a lot. And for those of you who don't have any idea what video we are talking about, this is the video. Let's take a watch and we we'll continue the conversation. What we're planning. So for those who haven't seen the video, that was the video. And it's still the listener podcast here on the Independence Ghana TV, Diana. So uh, we've seen authorities react. The gender ministry has spoken about this and some social um, CSOs fighting for child rights. Should it be after some of these incidents happened before, we get this institution stalking, or it should be a conversation that should be consistent in order to stop some of these abuses? So, um, well, typical Ghana, we wait for issues to escalate before we start conversations or even try to um, get solutions for, for, for it. So I'm not really surprised this happened because when I saw the video, I was, I, I couldn't even watch it. I was so angry. I'm like, by this time, Dan Parry himself should be in a car chasing this man because such a barbaric act. No, but the police are young asking boy. for information to arrest. How long? I mean, I saw another video where he was sitting quietly and then there were, I think his mom or something. So if you could wait for another video to come out, like seriously, I, I really don't think the police are up to speed with their job 
on this particular case. By this time, the guy should have been in jail. Some Charlie Hangintons. Man, you can't do this to a kid. Thank you. Handy. On the police reaction, have they been, I mean... I'm disappointed in the police, basically mm -hmm. put. There are reports that the man has been arrested together with some people. Other media houses are saying otherwise. It's been over 24 hours. The police have not reported any of the claims that these media houses are making. So what are you telling Ghanaians? Is the man in jail? Is he not? This doesn't show that you are serious about the matter. And well, people are saying that the one videoing should be arrested. Um, I suggest that uh, maybe some community service and some education because if he did not video the incident how would you get to know what happened he can't fight as please let, let me he well i mean that's that's a, that's one thing you can say but maybe he could have also said that he can't he can't fight the man and video at the same time i don't know how you'd have been able to see the whole scene however i'm 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 suggesting that he be given some community service and be educated because the important thing is that this this incident should transform people the sanctions sometimes just do not work you should be able to educate people to know that okay this is why i shouldn't do this when you sanction them like you put people in jail and they go to jail and they don't there's no impact there's no transformation they come out what they do they'll do the worst stuff we are supposed to educate people ghana unfortunately we are not educating people we like sanctioning we like sanctioning that's what's going to happen we have to educate the man and the wife because if there's a woman and she saw this i'm lord hold me no, don't really. I don't think this man needs any community, no, anything. No, not the man himself, but the one videoing. Because yes. Oh, they are, are all part of the thing. They, they, they all need. They, they all have to be hanged, all of them, because in Ghana here, if you don't do something to deter others, the practice will keep on going on. Yes. So this but one, yeah, no, com no community. Please, how many it times have we to be educated the public on child abuse? It but it keeps going English on. English language, English language. How many people not speak English? Not language? just English. GTV does some in Ghana and Chi. How many have light in Ghana? How many? Dude, come on, be realistic. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, okay, no. guys. I feel the education is enough. Mm. We need to take me, action. When you take action, people will be scared and won't do it again. Right. Stop Thanks. this community. Thank you very much. Abigail, our colleagues have said a lot, and I want you to, I mean, give your final words to authorities, parents, as to how to train their child or discipline their children. <laughs> okay, so, just as um, Diane is saying, I think the police should track this down, this man down and then arrest him. And then after the arrest, we should all see that this is what they are doing to that particular man. Because when I saw the video, I was very angry. Because mm. to me, what at all does this boy know for you to beat him like this? And it was just too much. So what I want to say, like my last word is that the police should hunt this man down to arrest him. After the arrest, whatever that they need to do, they should do to him if they are going to educate him. But they have to do something for him to also feel the pain that he put that boy through. He is too young for that. Even um, a 10-year-old child or maybe 12 or 15 that you can speak to and tell him or her that, okay, so this is this thing, don't do it or that. I think this, this boy is too small to be punished like this for whatever that he did. After that, they were even singing Shatawale song. Yes, for and him. you could tell the grief. In another place, I'm sure by this time, maybe social welfare or something that would have tracked them and then mm. taking the child away from them because it looks like they don't know what they're about. Yeah, so that's what I think I would want to add to that. All right. Well, so um, on, on the arrest of the man who actually videoed the thing, um, on a second thought, I feel he shouldn't be penalized so much because I think he has helped us to know that something like this was actually going on. And yeah, he's, he has helped us to know that things like this are going on. So we should consider um, what we do to that. We'll be drawing the curtains here. But before that, Phoebe, yeah. you have the mic. <laughs> it's appalling, see. Mm. I don't know what um, will trigger 
What at all did this little boy do to you to do this to him? It's so unfair. You know, maltreatment. It's so unfair because it has a lot of effects, negative effects on children. It causes low esteem, fear, panic. Like you don't have confidence in yourself. It's not right. I think there are different forms of discipline. Parents should adapt to that. Teachers too, they should also find a way to discipline their students. This thing must stop. So as Phoebe has said, this thing must stop. And I would also like to end on this note that we all have to adopt better ways of disciplining our children. No matter what kids will do, I don't think it is right for anybody to treat a child the way this little boy has been treated. It's been the Lesson Now podcast here on the Independence Ghana TV with me, Jessiola Morris. Until we meet next time with another exciting edition, it's bye-bye.